Hello, I am Dr. Nidhi Tandon. I am Head of Department of Medical Oncology at Mazunda Shaw Medical Center and I am also the advisor to Oncology Collegium for Narayana Group of Hospitals. Medical Oncology is a branch of cancer treatment which deals with the systemic treatment like chemotherapy, targeted therapy and immunotherapy. Most of the patient need to meet a medical oncology at some point of time and it will be the best at baseline so that a plan of treatment is formalized. The most common cancers in men include the head and neck cancer, the lung cancer, colon cancer and prostate cancer. The most common cancers in women include breast cancer, ovarian cancer, cervical cancers and also lung cancers. Cancer is usually diagnosed with the help of a biopsy. Though there are few cancers like liver cancer and kidney cancer where the CT scan picture is good enough to diagnose. But apart from certain rare conditions like these, most of the cancer require a biopsy to diagnose. Cancer is staged by an imaging modality. It could be a CT scan or a PET scan which will tell us where all is the cancer spread and that will help us in staging the patient. Chemotherapy is usually an injection though it could be in form of oral tablet. It will be mixed in saline or glucose and given to you like any other infusion. It does have certain side effects like weakness, body ache, vomiting, constipation but these are very well managed with the medications available today. The main thing that we are cautious about is that with chemotherapy blood counts can fall and this can lead to infections. So that is something we have to be watchful about. But chemotherapy is the death sentence. Uh, chemotherapy will cause life threatening complications. These are all myths and now there are ways to tolerate the side effects and extend the life of the patient at the same time. Nowadays, we do have something called as targeted therapy. We look for certain receptors on the cancer cells and depending on the presence of these receptors, we can give injections which are directly targeted against that receptor. This makes not only the killing of the cancer cells more effective, but it also reduces the side effect because these receptors are not present in any other body cells.